Go rope. Factually opinionated. Go rope. What's good? What's good, everybody? It's your boy Mo Pre. Welcome to Factually Opinionated Guru, where facts remain facts and opinions. Well, they become facts. You know what it is. Now, today I want to talk about Mr. Tyreek Desheed, Mr. AKA um, Hidden Colors. Um, aka uh, former pimp, aka uh, the dude y'all love to hate. Anyway, did y'all know that Tyreek Nasheed? Um, he's now uh, in, in the music industry. He's um, he's made a video, and he got a nice song. And uh, to be honest with you, this song been on my mind ever since I saw this video. I saw this video about a week ago, and I like the song. Surprisingly, I like the song. I mean, I don't have any issues with Tyreek Nasheed. Um, the guy is a, a, a thoroughbred hustler. The guy know how to hustle. He can he can hustle salt to a slug. He can hustle anything. I like Tyreek Nasheed because he's a true definition of a hustler. And sometimes, you know, he hustle. Um, um, I don't know. I just... I just got lost for words, so what I'm saying is sometimes Tyreek Nasheed such of a hustle that he'll hustle uh, his own people. But anyway, I don't care about that. He'll hustle. I mean, he getting his money, so I don't have any problem with him. But I do like the video. I do like the song. Uh, let's play the video and let's uh, let's let's see what you guys think about it. Let's let me point out a few things that I don't know if you guys saw or not, but uh, I saw it and tell me what you think. What's crazy is, I mean, when the when the beat first came on, I'm like this. I mean, when the beat first come on, you cannot help but the rock and move and groove to it. So, I mean, good job, Tyreek. I see your legs, I see your hot body, but you don't know. <laughs> He's so silly, man. The face of the the facial expressions he be making, he just sit there like, like, dude. It's so silly. I came here to party. There's only one who captured my eyes. It's you. So what we gonna do? And we got I got my bottle service. So come on over. Look at that jacket on that boy. That, that's a that's a bad ass jacket he got on. I like that jacket he got on. So uh, I like that. Baby, don't be nervous There's only one place you should be with me So what's it gonna be? Oh, I wanna get you on the fucking ride I wanna feel your body Do he have strong vocals? Um He, he can improve his, his vocals gang, they definitely are strong great they definitely aren't amazing but for this song he was able to his vocal was able to carry him enough to make this a, a still pretty good song so his vocal's not amazing but it was decent it's it's, it's a little bit of it's about average i wanna feel you on the bump and grind like it's i mean anybody can do this i mean but he did his thing I just want to point out something real quick. By the way, that's a well again, that's a bad ass jacket. That's a that's a shab ass jacket. I I need to find out where he got that from so I can sport it and um pull it off the right way. But if y'all didn't notice, he got like I mean, I don't know if she Latino or Latin. She look like a white chick. A white chick and another white chick. Uh, now, Tyreek Nasheed is big on suspected white supremacy. Everybody's a white supremacy. Everybody's suspect white supremacy. 
but he showed who got a lot of white folks in his video so I just want to kind of point that out to you guys and let you guys create your own facts and opinions to it for you to take my hand for you and I to dance to get you on the floor to get you out the door for me to kick my game to get to know your name to get you in the groove now I just want to point something out. I, I just want to point something out. This guy is married, and he. I by the way, Tyree, Tyree, you have a very beautiful wife and a very beautiful, beautiful family. I mean, your son, your daughter, all of them. Your wife, everybody looks amazing in your family. So you, you did a good job. But this guy is married, and he's kind of like. I mean, I know this is a video, and I know this is make believe, but. That's a beautiful looking sister, and he's like grinding on her. He got like his chest to her back, and he got his pelvis on her butt. I don't know. I don't know if married men do that, but it just looked like it just looked too much of 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 a, of a love scene in the club than it should really be. I'm just saying it, it looked. He's grinding on her a little too hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to drush this, but this man is grinding his penis on her way too hard for him to be a married man. That's pro black. Keep going. So what you wanna do? I need you on the dance floor. Me and you on the dance floor. I see you on the dance floor. I see you on the dance floor. Now, when that, I see you on the dance floor part come on, I like the way he stepped back and kind of just, you know, just kind of groove. Because he can't dance. At least the man know he good and know he not good at because he know he can't dance. So, when the dance floor part come on, hey, I'm chilling. Hey, I'm mink coat. You know, I'm candy man in the background. You know, I got my mink coat on. I'm just waiting on something to pop off. <laughs> At the bar, baby, what you drinking? I feel your vibe, I know what you think. You want a man to come and sweep you off your feet. And baby, that's me, oh, it's getting late. I'm looking for an answer. Let's go, baby, be my nasty dancer. Cause on the floor, I can do with you. Nigga, don't try to act like you can dance about some for you when I to, your ass can't dance. Your ass stiff as a damn backboard. To get you on the floor. It's time. To get you out that door. It's time. For me to kick my game. It's time. That boy old school G. That boy said for me to kick my game. I ain't heard nobody say they want to kick some game in a long time. This, I, I mean, the reason why I love this song because it got such a uh, it got such a '80s feel to it. It feel like the music that I was listening to as a little bit of kid. You know, it's it got the it got a funk '80s feel to it, funk '80s sound to it. So I, I love it. The word the word choice and everything is is pretty good. To get to know your name. It's time. To get you in the groove. It's time. So what you wanna do? I don't know if this guy is white or not, but he definitely isn't black. And the guy that was doing backflips, I don't know if he's white or not, but he definitely isn't black. And this... <laughs> This guy real playing this guitar. I don't know if he's white or not, but he probably definitely isn't black. I mean, he look like Jesus. Look how long the guy hair is. 
he's, 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 he's just look corny. Like, you couldn't find no black person to play the guitar? Mr. Um... Mr. Hidden Colors, Mr. Everybody Suspect White Supremacy. You can find any black dudes to play the drum. You can find any black dudes to flip. Did you have to put some white females in the club on this video? Mr. Plo Black, Mr. Uh, Everybody Suspect White Supremacy, Mr. Hidden Colors. Guess not. He the only, I mean, only white people can play electric guitars. <laughs> This the most funniest part of the video. I crack up every time I watch this video on this part because Tariq Nasheed is 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 see what my mouth is. He's right here on this side, and his job, I guess, to is is to be like a hype man or get the crowd involved. But he look like a damn fool because he's stiff as a back boy. He has no moves. So you'll see him at one point in the background doing this shit. You know, jumping up like looking like a damn clown. He just, uh, uh, uh. What the hell is that? That that what is that, Tyreek? You couldn't do nothing besides that. And then I he got done with that, he make his way back to the the front of the microphone, and this guy tried to do the sea walk. I don't know if I'm the only person caught that, but I bust out laughing when I first saw that. This guy actually tried to do like a crip walk or a gangster walk. Nah, I heard nah. He's he has admitted to being affiliated with Crips and stuff like that, but he never said he was in a gang. He said he never joined the gang, but he does. Uh, he did hang with the with the OGs and Rolling Sixes and stuff like that. So maybe the Crip Walk is a real Crip Walk, but I never seen no one do the Crip Walk like that. I mean, I don't know if it's because he gained a little weight. I don't know if it's because he's older. He's like fifty, still trying to do. The, it don't look cool at fifty. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, check this out. When he do this, uh, 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 he look like a damn fool, and then he'll try to do the crit walk. Uh, uh. I mean, he almost, he just like he almost tripped. He like he got two left feet. This man, he's so silly, man. He's so you got a little tire. He's so funny, bro. <laughs> Take my hand for you and I to dance to get you on the floor. All right, guys. That was it. That's 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 the video. Um, what do y'all think about it? I think the song is is a very good song. I think the video is is good too, but I don't think is it fits um, his message. I mean, he's all about um, everybody suspect white supremacy, black power, black on black pride, hidden colors. Um, you know, uh, black people need to stick with black people, white people need to stick with white people. But he always, I always find this guy um, doing business with white people. You know, even the whole Hidden Colors movie was produced and recorded and, 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 and filmed by white people. So, I, somebody, maybe I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't I don't know if, if, if he's just hustling black folks. I mean, wait a minute, do this microphone work? I don't know if he's hustling black folks, but he's starting to look like a fraud a little bit with this whole suspect white supremacy stuff. I mean... I used to think white supremacy was a big deal in the world, but now I don't think it's such a big deal because he seemed to be getting along with white supremacy just fine because he used white people in everything he do. Even on down to his music video. Wow. Mr. Pro Black, this is what I want to ask you. When are you going to do something that's 100% black owned or black operated? Maybe you have, maybe you didn't. I just want to know because I haven't seen it just yet. Mr. Pro Black, why do you got all these white people um, in your video since you think everyone is suspect white supremacy? Why do you got all these white people in your video then? Explain that. Huh? Explain that. Black people can't play guitars? Black people can't dance? Maybe not. 
But then again, you the man, you the hustler. I mean, you make money off movies, you make money off music, you make money off pimping books and all kind of shit. So you the man, you the, you a thoroughbred hustler. I mean, even even on to the fact to where you hustled us um, to watch Hidden Colors, and 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 you come off to be this 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 um this, this pro black and revolutionary type guy. But deep down inside, you just a hustler. You just a thoroughbred hustler, like. You just about getting a chick, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's money to be made, Tyreek and she gonna make it. I ain't knocking your hustle, brother. Do what you gotta do. Feed your fam. Tell me what y'all think about it. I mean, I love the song. I love the video. I I like the message. I just think um, I didn't expect to see any of this stuff coming from Tyreek and she, Mr. Uh, Pro Black, aka um, Hidden Colors, because... I just didn't expect to see this. He's starting to look like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton a little bit. You know what I mean? He, he just, he's just a thoroughbred hustler. He just he just wherever the money at, wherever the money go, I go. I mean, this dude is is fifty years old. Talking about some getting you out the door and getting you on the floor, and it's time to get you in my car. It's time to take you home from the bar. Like what fifty year old, what fifty year old guy talks talks about that? Great song. Great video, nice beat, everything. It just, I think Shatari Nasheed should have uh, should have let someone else uh, record the video because he's definitely taking the hit on his image with these type of moves. But it's factual opinion at it. They're just my facts. They're just my opinions. Take it for how you want them. It's your boy Mo Pre. Until next time, I'm out. Have a good day.